license. Uh, he has a high level of trust in us to do that, and he has empowered us to do that. So um, that's our role. Um, Terry's role is more of uh, being a typical owner. Um, I work for an owner, two owners in Pittsburgh, uh, Ron Burkle and Mario, and they, they would never be somewhere like this. It's, it's just not, it's not what a typical owner uh, does. Well, can I say for Buffalo fans, they expect their owners to be responsible and responsive to what's going on, and that means answering questions. Um, I, I don't know that that's completely true, that that, uh, that happens in this or any other market. Um, Terry is certainly available and, and speaks publicly. And when is Terry to... available? Come on. Uh, he... When is Terry available? He wouldn't answer hockey questions the one time. I had to stop yeah. it right there, Ted. Come on, that's ridiculous. When is Terry available to the uh, media? Terry was available to the media two, three weeks ago. And didn't answer any hockey questions when he was there. He yeah. used to answer hockey questions that should have been answered by the owner. You weren't even there when Lindy was fired, as Darcy told us. You were out of town. So I'm not going to well, let you get away with question that. Which question do you want me to answer? Do you want to know where I was that weekend? Ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. What, what would what the earnings of that have that last comment about something? Well, the point is, you know, he I was said, in a business meeting right, in New York. Right, business meeting, right. So when you're speaking for Terry, when they fired the coach, you weren't even there. Darcy had to do that. You're saying Terry's available. Let's just Terry is available to speak on matters that involve the franchise. All right, well, let's He's make an interview just, request right now to bring let's Terry. Let's be clear. Mike, Mike, Terry's not going to be available to answer every question you want to ask well, him. He should be available no, to answer no. the firing of the 16-year head coach. That's what he has to, That's what he has Darcy do. And Darcy did a fine mm -hmm. job. Exactly. Right. Right. Get and it now. And the owner <laughs> should be there, too, because the owner was certainly there at the beginning. The owner was there at the beginning. So when he wins the Stanley Cup, he's not doing any interviews too, right? Mike, well, that's behave yourself professionally, please. I, I certainly am. I'm Can asking you. a question. Can you? I'm asking a question. Which You're question do you want me to answer before you, you interrupt? Terry it. is available, and I'm telling you Terry's Terry available. speaks when it's appropriate for the owner to speak in the right capacity that, that, and it was that he's going for to the speak. Owner to answer Let me finish the a question. Did he answer your question, please? It's not that hard. Go ahead. It was appropriate for him to answer questions about the coach, and he, and he refused. When? What are you talking when about now? When he was at the Harbor Center, he would not answer questions about the firing of the coach. That was the first time anyone had a chance to ask him about and it. And he wasn't there to do that. That and was he should have been. He was asked about Harbor Center. He could have answered a reasonable question about the firing of the coach. He was there to announce the investment of $172 million into our community. Um, that's what he did. It wasn't there to talk about the hockey department or hiring or firing of coaches that took place two or three months before that. Which he still hadn't work. commented on, just for the record. I understand that. I, I understand that you want to talk to him all yeah, the time. Well, I don't like, I don't, do. and obviously I, Scott Brown is too. And I understand that because he's a dynamic person to speak with. I'd love to speak to your boss. I'd love to have Warren Buffett come in here and, and chat. It would be awesome. Warren Buffett I doesn't think work in Buffalo. Terry Fugula is here all the time. I okay. think it would be I, actually, awesome actually to do that. Not. Actually, in fairness to Terry, he doesn't. Well, but you see him on the road all the time. Well, no, I, I no, mean, no, that's not fair. It, it, that's Scott, not, if we could just answer one at a time. Okay. Well, you, you understand that. He's, he's just not going to be at a press conference like this. That, well, that's, that's, that's just a, you I don't like that. it. You don't like I it, but I want to make sure that everyone can understand that. I'm not going to let you sit there and lie like you just did. Mike, that's defamatory. That's not defamatory. That's a fact. You said Terry's available, and he's not. And we all Terry is available to speak, and he does. Well, when and he's a very when, good man. When, when is he available? And can we set up a press conference right now for next week or next month with Mr. Pagula so we can answer him? Let me ask, ask him questions. Sure. I, I, I understand that. He hires me to run the business and speak for the business. He hired Darcy to, to run the hockey operations and speak for the hockey operations. And that's what we do. 